You know, eh? Firstly, welcome, guys. It's your boy, Gerald Slink. I'm a Dana. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So, if you are new here, try as much as possible to subscribe and invite your friends. And uh, welcome to the family. And if you are old, are you not day? How far? Well, uh, of course, this is my boy, Gerald Slink. Someone told me yesterday, and uh, the person said, when we Nigeria start paying back fire for fire, because they say, do unto others as you will like others to do unto you. You know, and so I will say, he missed Obasanjo. If he was Obasanjo, he will not tolerate this kind of rubbish. If it was Obasanjo, Obasanjo will not tolerate this kind of rubbish. Or let me say, if it was Abacha, Abacha will never tolerate this kind of rubbish. South Africa denies Nigeria basketball team visa to participate in 2024 FIBA Under-80 tournament in South Africa. South Africa denies Nigeria basketball team visa to participate in 2024 FIBA Under-18 tournament. The crazy thing is that if I start talking now, they will say, oh, Adam Slink, you are talking rubbish. Adam Slink, you should preach togetherness. Nigeria is the only African country that always preach togetherness. We do not discriminate each other. But then again, why are they discriminating us? Why are they bringing us down and making us look like we are nothing? If I start preaching that we should fight fire for fire, if I start talking about, you know, the companies here and this or that and this or that here that are making money from Nigeria, we can count the companies over here that are making money from us. But I can bet you there is no one or two companies that we really, really know that are making money from South Africa. If I start talking about that now, they will say, oh, I am not, I am not being a civil. Adam Sling, you are not preaching togetherness. How long are we going to wait? How long are we going to start taking decisive actions? Decisive actions. How long? How long? How long? Because this is becoming really, really painful, guys. Reason are now. If it was any Europe country that denied us visa. Okay, good and fine, European country now, but we are talking about Africa. We are talking about Africa country denying our recognized basketball players participating in a competition that is well recognized that Nigerians are meant to participate. You are denying their visas. You are denying their visas. Oh, no, no, no. It's too much now. It's too much. It's too much. We need to take actions. We need to repay fire with fire. It has not become so bad, though, but it will be bad if we need it, guys, honestly. Reason with me. We need to start taking actions. We need it. Why? Why so much dislike? The only thing we ever did wrong was just to enjoy. Enjoy, enjoyment, enjoy. I can bet you, majority of people talking in South Africa about Nigeria. In fact, eh, this is not only South Africans again. It is, it is their government. It's their government now. Is within all of them, is in their blood. The citizen might be talking, but the government can be kind of like a political. But no, now they are not political about it. They are straightforward with their thoughts. And now let's go back to Chidima. They have constantly tried as much as possible to ridicule Chidima. Not just only that, they are trying now to bring 
up. I think they are doing an investigation. Uh, I don't know if, 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 if it's an investigation, but they are trying to bring out something, a documentary, about how fraudulent Chidima is. I know Chidima as Nigerian. Her and her parents had legal South African IDs. Fraud and identity theft may have been committed by the person recorded in Home Affairs records as Chidima Adachina's mother. She also has a Nigerian passport. Miss Taraba! Go getter or opportunist? I am not an opportunist. Checkpoint this Wednesday, 9 30 p.m. on ENCA. On ENCA. We try is opportunist again. We are trying to bring up a ridiculous uh, documentary concerning Chidima. You forgot that Chidima was a tundler. She was not guilty. She is not guilty of anything. No. Her mom is guilty. Criticize her mom. Why do you bring in Chidima into the whole mischief? Criticize her mom. Criticize her mom. You're going to make it look like all Nigerians are fraudulent. That's a narrative South Africans are trying to push out there. That all Nigerians are fraudulent. All Nigerians are drug dealers. When for sure their forensic investigation proved that majority of drug uh, related offenses are committed by South Africans. Then why do you still want to push that narrative that all Nigerians are fraudulent and are and, and, and into uh, drug violence? Why do you want to prove that narrative? Has it ever been proven that any case of robbery in South Africa or any case of any form of violence, has it ever been proven that Nigerians are among? None. None has been proven. The only thing Nigeria does is enjoyment. Enjoy. Enjoy their life. Although we also agree there are some Nigerians who do not really make us proud. But do not push that narrative that all Nigerians are fraudulent. Hmm? People should leave Chidema alone. This girl never committed any offense. She was a toddler who never knew what her mother did. Whoever did what they did. And guess what? An official co collected money. An official. It's not possible for Chidema's mother to just walk into any South Africa uh, or uh, immigration office or whatever you call it to just systematically go into the system and wipe someone's name and replace it with her name and make her a South African. It must be somebody from your home that collected money. It's your people who are collecting money from any, from, from any other country national to come into your country and claim citizenship. It's your people. You should scrutinize your system first. Why measuring Chidima, 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 Chidima not being the spread of, uh, of uh, illegal uh, 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 identity? Why are you not pu putting her as a cover page? You rejected her. You rejected the child who grew up in South Africa, possibly even knew uh, she can speak all the languages. She rejected her because she simply wants to identify as a Nigerian. Please, let her be here. Yeah? And again, I saw this video from Miss Quara. Hello, Nigeria. It's Ufa Daniel, your Miss Quara and the beauty. <laughs> okay this is just a thank you message to every single person that voted for me that supported me that encouraged me that loved on me that sacrificed their time their money like i'm so grateful to every single person that did that like god bless you from the bottom of my heart like and as you show me this love that like, your pockets your wishes everything will come true i wouldn't have been able to do this without you and to a specific demographic of people my south africans hey my brothers and sisters from another mother what's up uh -uh. Hey, where did you find me, please? Though, because funny enough, me, I didn't even know that anything was happening. I didn't know that apparently I was going viral. Like, I, I didn't know because in that account, to be honest, you barely even use your phone. So, even all the ones that they were saying people were bullying me, I don't even see one message that you know, even can't concern me. But, like, thank you so much to the South Africans and every other African country that supported me on this journey. Like, God bless you, God bless all of you. 
please sh fly me to South Africa now. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Like, your money was not wasted. It definitely did something. And God bless you all for doing that. Like, I'm eternally grateful. Thank you so much. And I mean, watch out for the next. Will I say road to me? You know, I never road don't end. <laughs> so, so I'll definitely be doing like a talk about my life during the camp and just like my life afterwards. And I believe that now that I'm already out there, there's no need for me to continue hiring. So, be ready to see more of me on your face. You know, see, be ready to see this fine face more on your. Be ready to see this fine face more on your screen as well. Thank you so much. This is just a thank you message to every single person that voted, that supported, that shared. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. You are all serious, Miss Quara. You are all serious. You made a really good point about mentioning South Africa and thanking them. You should understand where that generosity was coming from. It wasn't coming from a place of likeness. It was coming from a place of competition, trying as much as possible to undermine Nigeria, to undermine another Nigeria, who they rejected. They rejected her. And they want her to also be rejected in Nigeria. So please, before you even say thank you, South Africa, because if you check in the middle of the place, they fly me to South Africa, you are on serious. And I regret even supporting you for even say fly me to South Africa. Is, is that the ultimate? Even if South Africa gave you a lot, that they don't warrant, they don't deserve you to thank them. Yeah, they don't. They don't deserve you to thank them because their generosity does not just come. It comes with a prize. It comes with something they are looking for. So you should have known better than to sit down to make a video like that and also indirectly demanding them to fly you to South Africa. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well, guys, I don't know. When we are going to start taking action, I'm not talking about any action, but political actions. Because then again, how, could, how can you deny visa of our NBA players, our junior NBA, under 18 NBA players to participate in a competition that Nigeria are well approved to participate in? All because of you denied. How? 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 Okay, Nigeria will be great again. Nigeria will be great again.